February 9th, 1989, 25 years ago today. Uh, that was the day that changed my life. I've talked about this in videos before, but that was quite a long time ago, and um, I reckon most of my viewers don't know this story, and I think it's one that's worth repeating since this is the anniversary. Um, on February 9th, 1989, I was a radio DJ in Santa Rosa, California, where I come from. And uh, normally I was doing overnight shifts, but uh, I got asked to work during the daytime to fill in for my boss, who had a meeting with some of his higher-ups. And, um, and his show was from 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. And every day at 12 noon, he had a, uh, an all-request hour for people at work on their lunch break. Well, um, obviously you have to start taking requests for that before 12 o'clock starts up, and uh, by 12 o'clock uh, you've taken more requests than you can possibly fill, uh, which was the case for me. Um, but the phone was ringing and I thought, oh, I'll just answer it one more time. And when I answered the phone, there was a woman with a British accent on the other end informing me that today was her birthday and she wanted me to play a song for her by Yes. And Yes just happens to be my favorite band at the time. Um, I was particularly into it at that particular time in my life. And then, so I said to her, I said, well, I've never had a woman call me up and request Yes before. And then she informed me that she was their number one fan. And uh, I said, that's impossible because I'm the number one fan. And we got to chatting. And then an hour later when I played her a song, even though I really shouldn't have because I already filled up the request hour, um, she called me back to thank me, and then we got to talking some more. And uh, seven months after that, we were married. And nine months after that, my daughter was born. Uh, I was married in California, and uh, about six or eight weeks later, we moved over here to the UK, and I've lived in the UK ever since. Now, I wasn't supposed to be working that particular day. Even when I was working, I wasn't really supposed to answer the phone that particular time. I had already filled up more requests than I could take. I shouldn't have answered the phone. But I did. I should have just let it flash, but I picked it up one more time. And because I made that one little, little itty bitty decision, my entire life has taken it on in a completely different direction. I would never have moved to the UK. I would, my kids wouldn't even be alive. Uh, almost all the friends I've had over the past 20 years, I would never have met. Um, it's inconceivable to me what my life would be like, what course I might have taken um, had I not picked up that phone on that particular call. And the reason I'm making this video uh, and retelling this story is because I want to remind you that uh, you can't always predict which of the decisions you make are going to be the changer that completely like takes your life at a 90 degree angle from where its trajectory was going. I think every moment in your life is a pivotal moment. Every decision we make uh, in some way contributes to that overall trajectory. But there are decisions that you can make. Sometimes they're against your nature or uh, spontaneous or whatever that uh, turn out to be whoppers. And then other times there's decisions that you think are really, really big, but they don't really have that much of an impact on how you see life or how you live your life. So just be aware of those pivotal moments and um, try to make them good ones. Thanks for watching this video. May all your ups and downs be ups.